Speaking of Kickstarter, I have another one. Chilla, why don't you tell us about uh, one of these stories you have in here? I want to try to find that link. I, I ran into a guy today I wanted to talk about. So I'm not sure how much of, a, of, of anyone in this podcast plays Minecraft, but there's an interesting purchase. Well, actually, there's a bunch of interesting stuff Microsoft all of a sudden just rattled off this week um, as Apple starts to, to, to roll out their new stuff. Um, yeah, Microsoft bought the company that makes Minecraft, mm -hmm. um, which I, I think is going to be interesting. I'm hoping they keep it much like it is today as far as kind of open platform. You, you can kind of run it anywhere. It'll be interesting to see what where they take this. Um, I, I don't play Minecraft personally. I think it's an interesting concept that reminds me of Legos like when I was a kid. Um, but I do see a ton of people ranging many, many different age groups um, playing this, whether it be on an iPad, on a Windows device, on an Xbox, pretty much anywhere. And I wonder if this is a way for Microsoft to, to try to, to hit them young. Um, but I do see this going out to a lot of different age groups, like I said. I don't know if you guys play Minecraft or or anything of that nature, but I thought it was an interesting buy. I'm, I'm not I'm not a hundred percent understanding why. It's uh, you know, it's not like they're not known to buy studios. Um, most famously, they bought Rare, did very little with it, mm -hmm. bought Bungie. You know, a little something with Bungie. Uh, my brother actually is very, very much into Minecraft uh, to the point where he's he's doing actually Let's Play videos now uh, and get into that world. That's that seedy world of Let's Play videos on YouTube. Um, so I, I, I kind of want to defer to him and get his opinion on this um, here in the future. And I'm sure we'll talk about this at length a little bit on uh, on uh, Boss Battle here later um, on uh, in on InsertCoinToBegin.com. Uh, but I've heard a lot of theories over the last uh, half a week um, to the point of like, well, this is a service play, you know, because that's something that you can use Xbox Live about and use all those online services that Microsoft touts and get people in on that. Um, I think it they, to this point, what they say that they're not going to take it away from the platforms, the multiple platforms that's available on, um, because I think it'd be a huge mistake if they did that. Definitely. Uh, but I have a feeling you won't see like, on future not microsoft platforms you know like is it on playstation 4 it is, I, it is on First, playstation it is um i know it's on like the old one so uh it uh, it's just i think fielding the and the other the other theory was uh they have a lot of money offshore that they need to spend yeah i, I heard that theory so um microsoft's gonna microsoft you know uh, and money's going to end money and money's going to buy things. And this is a big thing that is kind of a short bet because it's got the community and all they have to do is not step on it and screw it up. So you have any thoughts on Minecraft? Do you have any experience? Are you, no, I mean, it I is, don't, I don't play Minecraft. I mean, so I don't have any experience. Um, it's the new Legos. I mean, the whole Microsoft is the devil thing. I mean, there's experience with that, but I mean, what are they going to do with it? Uh, like I mean, like you said, like other than just raking the money, yeah, that's already just taking the in. money that's already made. Because I think it's just a way for them to maybe I don't know try something different. Because them taking it away from other platforms is only going to hurt them mm -hmm. and their brand by them being like, oh, that's my ball, and I'm going to take it home, and nobody else can play with it. Because it does so well on so many different platforms that why would you upset people? Like people aren't going to shell out a bunch of money just to play this game on xbox one like it's not or, gonna happen yeah or is this another way for them just to hit more and more platforms i want sasha nadella's plans they want to be they want to be where the users are and if the users aren't on windows I, they want i to don't be there. i don't believe most of the theories about Satya Mandela's fan plans. Uh, from the chat, uh, Jolo John says, Minecraft is the new Tetris. If your toaster has a screen, you can get Minecraft on it. <laughs> I uh, want a toaster with a screen. Also, uh, uh, Brother Sorg, the expert in, in uh, speaking of, uh, says the PS Vita is actually still in development. So uh, one, if you see that that gets the axe here soon, I then you know, we'll start sweating a little bit about that. You know, 
Um, I mean, I, it is though. It is like the new Legos, and I feel like that's something. Hopefully, they will capture. Uh, one one show I was listening to was saying, you know, really they should start licensing it. You know, much like Legos do. You know, mm-hmm. let's have a Minecraft. You know, I think the thing they did mention there was like a, a Halo Minecraft like pack you can get. You know, they just just sell a bunch of expansion packs with like all the other characters or license Disney or whatever. Oh, no, it'd be so much money. I mean, Marvel, Marvel, Marvel superheroes Minecraft. Why not? Right, that works. Right. So Legos are going to be so upset. <laughs> Legos, uh, Legos beat out Mattel as the biggest toy company. Oh, I believe it. Recently, so there you go. Well, uh, look at all the money they're making from video games too. Hey, yeah, man, everything is awesome. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> wait for the Minecraft movie, guys. Um, so I was down at Thrill Mill today for a thing that I had to do.